When we started this program, nobody was sure that it would succeed. We didn't even know if students would be keen to come. Um, but we, since the start, have really been inundated by student interest. They've really grabbed hold of this. The DHB's grabbed hold of it. The small sites that we've talked about it have grabbed hold of this opportunity. And everyone's put in a tremendous amount of effort. We've expanded the program in Northland. Um, initially, we only had year five students. Now we've got year six students, and they're spending the entire year as well and we're increasing the number. So we're gonna have a cohort of 44 students spending their entire year in Northland as of 2019. Pukawaka is really important for Northland, but it's also important for the Auckland Medical School in general. It was the pilot program, if you like, and now we've got programs in Taranaki and in Whakatane. And I think it's important because uh, students need to know the different type of medicine that's practiced in the rural areas, the different connection that you have with the communities and the different experiences. I think to become an all-round student, if you have a full basket of information, um, you're able to uh, be more proactive in the way you address your clients. So that's the hope, is that the little strands of information we give is supportive to their journey working with the community. It's amazing how you can get integrated into a community by just being here, by meeting patients, by talking to them about their stories, comparing, contrasting. The amount of times that I have been suggested to go to a place for dinner or go visit that beach on your way, you know, you're doing a consultation with someone that's really sick and they still tell you where their best scallop spot is. Um, I think those are the just the like little gems that you get from talking to people. Living with all the other students, it's very different to um, any of the other experiences such as that you have in med school really, like because you're there 24-7 so you, you get to bounce ideas off each other or study together or whatever. Um, and it just, yeah, like a lot of the social stuff outside of work, you get to spend a lot of time together doing it in the beaches, partying, whatever, going away on trips. And yeah, it just kind of sets you up, gives you like real, real good mates to go through the rest of your mid school with and then the rest of your careers with. This year, 2017, we expanded a similar program uh, in the Bay of Plenty involving Whakatani and Tauranga. And next year, 2018, we're going to have a program running out of Hawara and New Plymouth. And so we've got great support from the Taranaki District Health Board to start that program. So we've spread throughout the Upper North Island in regional and rural settings because we really believe in the mission of providing doctors for all of New Zealand, not just Auckland. You see the most amazing pathology in small towns. If you're really science and medical driven, the stuff that we see and the stuff that we deal with is such a ridiculous contrast to what you have in Auckland. I've had people that have left Whangarei who were doing 10 times more, more at a more junior role than they are now in a more senior role. So the experience, the responsibility, the confidence you get with the job is amazing. You get thrown in the deep end. If you want a challenge, you just do it. And everyone's grateful for what you do up here, which is, is really cool. Great job satisfaction. We're in it for the long game because the, the big goal here is that the students who spend time here will ultimately come back and work here and uh, specialise here and build their families and whānau here. I can definitely see myself having a future in Whangarei. Me and my partner have just bought a house in Whangarei. We've set some roots down. I have so many friends here from a complete, like completely different life paths and our main aim is to come back. We know that we're going to have to leave for a while for specialty training and that's just life, that's how medical training happens. Um, but we'll hang on to the house and hopefully come back and have kids here and have a family and that's our plan. It'd be a great place to live.